Yeah, that's always a good question. So when you've had COVID, you'll certainly mount some immune response to it. You'll, you'll build antibodies. The problem with that, though, is that we don't really know how long those antibodies last. And in fact, there are now clear cases of people becoming reinfected with COVID. So when we track people's antibodies over time, a certain proportion of them drop over sort of a three to six month window. There's very few people who get reinfected within 90 days. So within three days of infection, you're probably pretty protected. So I, I would support someone who said, look, I want to defer vaccine until after two to three months after I've recovered from COVID. Beyond three months, however, we have very little data on how well your own natural immunity lasts. And so the last thing I want to do is to find someone who's been infected once, get the unlucky roll of the dice and get infected again because they, they mistakenly thought they were safe. The vaccine for someone who's been infected is likely to, in fact, remind your immune system in an enhancing way that it's going to be safe and protective. And there were people who were, who, who were positive previously who would have been incorporated in these, in these phase three trials and they didn't, you know, there were no adverse events. So I, it probably doesn't need to be revaccinated immediately if you recovered from COVID a week or two ago. As I said, the first three months is generally quite safe. But beyond that, if you were infected in the summer or in the early spring, um, you should absolutely line up for this. I don't want you to get sick again.